Welcome to Get Your FRQ On. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use your graphing calculator to solve optimization problems. So let's say we have a story problem, uh, very common ones in calculus. Let's say we take a sheet of metal, cut corners out of the, or squares out of the corners, and fold the sides up to make a box. Uh, what's the maximum volume uh, we can get from this box given certain dimensions uh, for the piece of sheet metal? Uh, tons of different ways you can ans uh, ask these types of questions. Calculus books are loaded with them. Uh, one of the assumptions in this tutorial is going to be that you've already found the function you need to optimize. So I have one pre-programmed into my y equals editor. It's a complicated one. It's going to be one where you're going to want to use a calculator to do it anyway. Uh, but let's take a look at it. So here is the graph of my function that I have stored in y equals. And notice that somewhere right about here, there is in fact a maximum, a very typical optimization problem would be to maximize uh, some specific uh, feature or characteristic. So here's how we're gonna do that on a calculator. Uh, basically, we're just finding the maximum value here. So if I go to second, and then up here, trace where the calc button is. I'm just going to select uh, my maximum four. And it looks, uh, well, all right, so first of all, this window goes from zero to three. So these tick marks along the x-axis are actually at every half. Uh, this one appears to be somewhere just below x equals one. So my left bound, I'm going to use... Uh, 0.5 and my right bound I'm going to use 1. Uh, it asks for a guess. I really don't ever guess. I'm just going to click enter and it looks like the maximum value here occurs when x is equal to 0 0.8237789 and the maximum value there is 6.931 and so on. Uh, when it comes to the AP Calculus exam, uh, when it, uh, specifically free response questions, if you're going to be doing something with this x value or y value, you may want to store it uh, correct to more decimal places than the standard three. Uh, because if you're going to, uh, you know, put this into a formula or evaluate a function somewhere or do something with it, uh, once you round it and you start doing math with the rounded answer, you're not going to get those digits back. And remember that the criteria is the answer that you report has to be correct uh, to at least three decimal places. So if you're rounding a little bit prematurely, the answer you get in the end may be off. Uh, so it's a good practice if you have to do something with one of these numbers at a later part of the problem that you actually store it uh, to several decimal places more than is required. 